Hello and welcome back. This is part three of our Formstack platform overview where we will be covering eSignature with our Formstack signed solution. In our first two videos, we walked you through how to capture data utilizing Formstack forms and how to set up and generate a document with Formstack documents. Both the data capture and the document generation functionality will be an integral part of the e-signature process. So if you haven't watched those videos, we recommend you start there. For these videos, we will be using our previous example of creating a new hire onboarding form to generate an offer letter to be delivered for signature. In this video, we will be focusing on using our Formstack sign product and showing you how to configure a document and send it out for signature. Once you've logged into your sign account, you will be taken right into the home tab of the product where you can set up your documents to be sent out for delivery. The first step to send out a document for signature is to upload a file or drag and drop the document that you would like to send out. Our Formstack sign product supports many formats including Word, PDF, and JPEG. In this example, we have a document that's based on the new hire template that we had created in Formstack Documents. We're going to upload this template and then hit Next. Step 1 is going to be configuring your signers. If you hit Add Participants, you will be able to enter the signer's name, email, and even phone number if you want the document to be texted out as well. You can add multiple signers by selecting Add Participants. You can also add yourself as a signer by selecting You Need to Sign. For this example, we're going to add our signer's information and then click the next step. It's worth noting that we currently only support sequence signing, and this document will be sent out in the order of who we've assigned from first to last. On this next screen, you will be able to drag and drop the different field options onto the document. You will see all the different options like full name, signature, date, initials, text, checkbox, and radio fields. For this example, I'm going to add a signature field, a full name field, and a date field. Now that we have our field set up on the document, let's click Next to continue. The final step before sending your document out is to name the document and type in the message you want the signers to see when they receive the email. There are also a few different options on this step to password protect the document or set up reminders for the signers. Once you have filled out the name and message, you can hit send to get the process started. Now that our document has been sent out to the first signer, let's take a look at how the signer would see this information. I have a link that I can click into to bring up the document and complete the necessary fields on this email. Now that the document signing process has been completed, let's take a look at where we can track and make changes to these documents. If we navigate back over to the Documents tab, you will see this is where a list of all of your documents that have been sent out for signature will live. You can see the status of each document and who it has been sent to. If you head to the Action column and the drop-down arrow, you will see the option to download, archive, or get more information for signed documents. This is how you would download the signed version of the document if necessary. If the document is still out for signature, you will see the option to remind or recall the document in the drop-down as well. In today's video, we showed you how to use our Formstack Sign product and how to set up your document to be sent out for signature. If you ever have any questions or concerns, please remember that you can always click on this eye icon on the top right to get in touch with our support team, or search for any useful articles on our site. In our next video, we'll be covering how to connect all three products to use in an automated process. Thank you for watching.